what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh, before I get into today's topic uh, I just want to make a quick announcement that uh, this year I will be moving on to my next phase of this channel this is of course an outdoor channel so you know so far I've done more fishing videos and such which I'm still gonna do those don't those aren't going nowhere but the next phase of this uh, of this channel I will be getting into uh, preparations for hunting uh, the hunting gear that I use the weapons or the guns I use for hunting and I'll even take you out on a couple of hunting uh, adventures as well as talking about some of my tactical shooting um, as I've mentioned before I am a sheriff's deputy and so I'm just going to talk about some of the uh, tactical weapons that I use uh, some of my own personal tactical gear that I've put together and just you know some like I said more outdoor stuff so be looking out for those now we're going to get into today's topic which is Texas rig uh, I'm going to go over my Texas rig setup and how I like to fish it and first of all I'm going to start with uh, the rod get this the uh, the rod that I have is the six gill Sega rod and I have that paired up with a six gill Creus and this is a seven to one gear ratio reel uh, that way to once you make your cast or your your flip or your pitch so that way you can get that line back in pretty fast to make you another cast uh, also if you're flipping into some heavy cover or not really heavy cover I guess I'd call it medium cover you know some sparse grass and other vegetations it's not really thick but then that way it's not real slow to where you feel like you have to really work that reel but then it's not too fast to where you're overworking it it's kinda at the the high medium part of the real spectrum I guess but uh, it would allow me to get in there in those areas take up my slack get it get my bait back out and make another cast into the areas but uh, I have that spooled up with I believe 15 pound uh, Berkeley trilene 100% fluorocarbon uh, I will leave links in the description box for all of this stuff but let's just go over the setup okay like I said the rod reel my line you gotta have you gotta have some kind of a sinker right there this is a uh, this is a 3 8 ounce non chip Wu tungsten uh, bullet weight um, like I said I'll leave a link in the description uh, the size of the weight that depends on the cover you're fishing uh, the time of year you're fishing you know if you're trying to get your bait through some heavy cover you probably want to go with a heavy weight also if you've noticed my weight it freely moves I did not peg it uh, some people like to peg theirs um, I do have another setup that is specifically for pitching and flipping and it's spooled up with braid I'll get into that one some other time and I do have that one pegged because I'm normally going to flip in really thick cover and so you want that weight pegged uh, to your hook so that way when that weight goes through that cover it brings your bait down with it and your weight's not going and then your bait is still sitting at the top so but fishing Texas rig I'm usually not in really heavy cover so I don't have it pegged if you want it pegged you go ahead and peg it but you have some kind of a weight and then whatever worm hook you choose to use this is uh, an Eagle Claw razor sharp I believe was the one I believe this is a 4 aught EWG and uh, that's basically a, a Texas rig right there you know you have your your rod reel your line your sinker and then your hook and then after that is just picking your your plastics uh, I, I like to use a lot of Strike King lures so I use a lot of Strike King plastic or sometimes I will use other plastics such as these X zone baits that you can get from Monster Bass I'll leave a link in the description box below 
where you can click on that get you a subscription of the monster bass box they have two different boxes uh, i believe there's a pro series box and then there's another series i can't think of the name i will try to uh, leave that name of that box in the description box but you with monster bass you you pick your region that you fish the type of fish uh, and then it asks you which box you want. Yeah, I think there's a blue box and a tan box, I believe. Like I said, I will check into that and I will let y'all know in the description box. But you sign up, you pay your monthly subscriptions. Uh, depending on which box you get, the price is going to vary on it. But uh, every month they will send you a box of lures. And what makes this special is these lures are selected by professional fishermen. Uh, one of the months, one of our previous months, we did a Jason Christie takeover. So basically all the lures that came in that month box was lures that uh, pro fisherman Jason Christie uses himself. So their stuff is selected based on your region as well as the, the season that you're fishing in. So, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can click on that and get started on your Monster Bass subscription. And, basically, I have one here. This is a, a, a gambler that came in my Monster Bass. But, basically, what you would do, take your hook and your bait, whichever soft plastic you choose. And, I usually go to about where the, the uh, hook comes right there to that first bend and you get your hook in there I guess that's about three quarters maybe a quarter of an inch and then you come out just bring it out like so you run your hook all the way through and then where that bend right here in the hook right at the eye you'd want to twist it on there and go on and bring that eye all the way into the bait like that now you take your bait once you've done that you line it up on your hook and then you just run it back onto the hook make sure your bait is straight that way your your bait moves natural looks natural in the water and make sure it's straight across now what you can also do I did not do it with this one I just had it buried into that bait but what you can also do is what's called text pose which is where you would bring that hook point all the way out like that if you can see that if you can see that hook point how it came out and then the hook is basically sitting on top of the bait and then you just grab it pull it forward a little bit so when it comes back it covers that point on your hook that way now when the fish bites it already pops that hook out so when you set that hook there's no plastic to possibly interfere with your hook set if you set it up right you shouldn't have any problems setting the hook on that fish but that is my Texas rig again with this rig if I am up close on cover I can either make a quick little pitch to that cover or if I want to, I can rear back and then just make a regular cast out to make a long cast. And then that way, you know, you, you're more versatile with that way. You have a versatile setup. Now, the way I normally work my Texas rig is once you either you pitch it in there or you've casted it out, then you, uh, you want the bait to get to the bottom. So let it get down to the bottom. You take up your slack and then you can either move it this way. Okay, once you've made your cast, you can either lift up on it and then as you lower your rod back down, you reel to take up that slack. So you're not going to reel really fast. You're just going to make a couple of turns to take up that slack and then lift again. You can also, if you're pitching up on cover, you can kind of see if I can, you can bounce it a little to kind of give that bait a little bit of a darting action in the water, uh, which is going to give it a little bit more erratic action, which could trigger more bites. 
um, depending on what kind of lures you have, the plastics uh, today are designed to where even if they're sitting still, with the natural flow of water, it already gives it a little bit of motion and a little bit of action. So sometimes just letting it sit there and just give it a little bit of a twitch could be all you need to uh, get those fish to bite. Uh, another way you could do it is you've made a long cast out and again you've got your rod pointing towards your bait. You reel up your slack but instead of lifting up this time you bring it to the side and then as you pull your point your rod back out in front of you you're taking up that slack again and then you pull it. What that is doing is if you can imagine the weight is probably sitting on the bottom and your lure is going to be somewhere behind it. Well if you're pulling to the side you're maintaining that bottom contact so your weight and your bait stays closer to the bottom and it's just dragging it along so now it looks like something that's just crawling along the bottom. That way if your fish are on the bottom by doing it that way you keep your bait in the strike zone a lot longer which means the more the fish can see your bait the more your chances of enticing that fish to bite have just increased. So the next time you're out try and tie on a Texas rig. Texas rig is one of the easiest ways of learning how to bass fish. It's the easiest way to introduce somebody to fishing soft plastics but you know next time you're out tie on a Texas rig give it a try see what you can catch. Till next time I'll see you guys in the great outdoors.